I be missing in endoscope bedside cleaning? The Emergency Care Research Institute reports cross-contamination of endoscopes stays one of the top 10 health technology hazards. Bedside cleaning, also called point-of-use pre-cleaning, is crucial to ensure the efficacy of the following high-level disinfection to the endoscope. In this video, we will look closely at the endoscope bedside cleaning and see what you might overlook in this process. It is commonly known that the suction, biopsy and air water channel inside the endoscope can get heavily contaminated during endoscopy. Therefore, after the procedure, we should immediately flush fluids, debris and other contaminants out of the channels to minimize bio burdens from building up and drying out. A study in the Journal of Hospital Infections shows that biofilm accumulation contributes to manual or high-level disinfection failures, which can lead to cross-contamination with infectious diseases. Now, let's check out the suction channel. The suction channel is also the biopsy channel. Both functions share the same passage. This suction channel is used for suctioning and removing the fluids, debris and other contaminants during procedures. To clean the suction channel at the bedside, use the procedure suction valve to draw detergent into the channel for flushing for 30 seconds, then suction air for 10 seconds. For further details, watch our step-by-step -step guide video on how to use Andorate devices for bedside cleaning. Now let's move to the air water channel. In most endoscopes, air and water channels run side by side until they come together towards the distal end. Both channels work together for visualization through insufflation and lens cleaning. During the procedure, the air water channels are exposed to contaminants. To clean these two channels at the bedside, replace the procedure air water valve with a specially designed device to blow air through the water channel and flush water into the air channel. We've walked through the suction, biopsy and air water channels. What's missing here at the bedside cleaning? The biopsy port. The biopsy port allows the insertion and withdrawal of collected samples by a biopsy instrument that has direct contact with patients. Its extended channel is shared with the suction channel. During the procedure, this area is fully exposed to contaminants. A study of monitoring and improving the effectiveness of cleaning flexible GI endoscopes on the American Journal of Infection Control points out that bacteria can attach to the endoscope surface in a matter of seconds or minutes leading to irreversible attachment. Therefore, after the procedure, we should use a specifically designed device to clean the biopsy port. By doing so, it can reduce the level of biofilm formation. Biofilm can bring challenges to the success of the endoscope reprocessing and eventually cause cross-contamination. GA Health strives for better results. We develop Andorate Biopsy Port Cleaning Adapter to improve endoscopy bedside cleaning practices. The product is designed to draw the detergent into the biopsy port for flushing. It is ready to use, requiring no reprocessing. Additionally, it helps improve the field's hygiene by reducing the risk of cross-contamination between the procedure and cleaning rooms. We offer five different varieties of cleaning devices. The products are designed to work with Olympus and Fujifilm 700 series GI endoscopes. To further streamline the process in the hospitals and clinics, these products can be provided sterilized with procedure valves as well. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this video helpful. If you have any further questions, contact us at product at gahealth.com. We are looking forward to speaking with you.